I'm Craig Carl, a Director of Solutions Architecture at Oracle Cloud. Oracle Cloud bare metal instances include high performance, low latency NVMe SSD devices. The high I.O. instance type has four 3.2 terabyte drives for a total of 12.8 terabytes of space. The dense I.O. instance shape includes nine 3.2 terabyte drives for a total of 28.8 terabytes of space. It's important for customers to understand that these locally attached SSDs are not protected or redundant in any way. The Oracle Cloud provides no RAID, no snapshots, and no native backup ability for these volumes. Customers are responsible for the durability of data on these local NVMe SSD devices. The risks customers need to protect against include the failure of a single NVMe device, the loss of an instance or an entire availability domain, an application or user error. The best way to protect against an individual device failure is a RAID array. The Linux tool MDAdmin builds and monitors software RAID arrays. Customers are free to configure their local RAID arrays in any way that's appropriate for their use case. We're going to cover some example and best practices configurations. The RAID options differ based on the instance type. For high I.O. instances, most customers are going to use a RAID 10 across all four SSDs. This results in a fast array with 6.4 terabytes of usable space that can survive the failure of any single device and may survive the failure of two devices. Another option on the high I.O. instances are two RAID 1 arrays. With two RAID 1 arrays, you get isolated I.O. For example, one LUN for your data and another for your log files. 6.4 terabytes of usable storage that can survive the failure of any single device and may survive the failure of two. Another option is RAID 6 across all four SSDs. RAID 6 uses dual parity, which means you still have 6.4 terabytes of usable space, but you can survive the failure of any two devices. RAID 6 is excellent if you need additional durability, but it is slightly slower than the previous two examples. Customers using dense I.O. instances have more RAID options because there's more drives in the instance. One option is RAID 6 across all nine SSDs. This results in a single LUN with about 24 terabytes of space that will survive the failure of any two devices. For database customers, a four device RAID 10 and five device RAID 6 array is an excellent option. This results in two arrays with isolated I.O. for data and log files with 6.4 terabytes and 9.6 terabytes of usable space respectively. A very high speed option is a RAID 10 array across eight devices. A RAID 10 array always has to have an even number of devices, so we use the last and ninth device as a hot spare. Another high performance option is two RAID 10 arrays of four devices each, two LUNs with isolated I.O., each with 6.4 terabytes of space, and a global hot spare. Customers also need to protect against the failure of an instance or an availability domain. The best way to do this is replicate the data set to a second availability domain. There's multiple options for cross AD replication. There's rsync, there's drbd, Oracle database customers should use DataGuard. The availability domains were designed specifically to be close enough together to support synchronous replication. The final failure scenario that customers need to protect against is an application or user error. Here we use traditional backup solutions. Oracle database customers can use RMN backups to a traditional target or to the Oracle Cloud Object Store. is a RAID array. 
those are way away. 